All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So this is gonna be a short video. I say that every single time, it doesn't end up being short, but this one, I promise you, is definitely gonna be short. Um, so according to Jeff Grubb, there is a Black Panther game in development by a new EA studio, right? So got a few details, not a lot. So right now it's in the early stages of development. Uh, it's a single player open world RPG. It's code name Project Rainer. Um, and the studio developing it is uh, comprised of former Monolith production um, devs. Obviously, Monolith made Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor. And I believe Monolith is currently working on um, that Wonder Woman game, right? Um, so they're, they're actually working on a, uh, and have been working on for a while, that Wonder Woman game. We got an announcement for that, but haven't seen any gameplay since. So looking forward to see how that, you know, turns out. So yeah, those are where the studio's, um, you know, experience and the heads of that uh, studio uh, come from, right? Which is, which is a good thing. That's promising. Now, a lot of people, first of all, as soon as they heard EA, you know, EA is the publisher that's make that you know that's making this um Black Panther game. It's a studio under EA. People automatically just like, "No, it's going to be a disaster. We hate it already." I'm not as hard on EA as other people, right? Of course, EA has destroyed a lot of studios. They've destroyed a lot of, you know, franchises and beloved games, no doubt about it. I mean, they they've destroyed some of their own stuff that's currently alive. You know, like they, they obviously butchered Battlefield and, and a few other games, you know, which I'm very upset at them for, you know, with DICE and everything like that. But EA is, st I still don't view EA as that studio from like 12, 10, 12 years ago. I, I think some people will perpetually, perpetually and infinitely view EA as, as that publisher, right? And I don't really think that's, that's fair. Right. I remember when EA was voted like, what was it, the worst company in America? I'm like, in America? Really? In America? Like, bro, they're, they're a game development studio. Like, there, there's no way they're the worst company in, um, in America. Like, I'm sure there are, like, mind you, this wasn't like worst game development or worst publisher. It was worst company in America. I'm like, how can a game development studio be the worst? company in America. I'm sure there's other companies doing way worse shit than making bad games or killing off your favorite, you know, uh, studio or franchise. To me, that doesn't make any sense. So how bad they were was always like a bit of an exaggeration and a bit of an embellishment. So once again, I'm not saying like I'm a fan of, of EA and what they've done, but I just, I, I like to, you know, look at it kind of somewhat objectively. They've done a lot of bad stuff, done some good stuff, you know, especially recently. Um, the, the Dead Space remake does look promising. That's by a new studio, even though they obviously shut down Visceral, which I also hated them for. But the Dead Space remake looks looks promising. Um, Respawn is probably their saving grace. If they didn't have Respawn, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know what they would be. You know, so, um, you know, if Tit Titanfall was was really... Titan Titanfall 2, like, that was literally one of the best first person shooter campaigns like you probably ever played if you played it. a lot of people didn't but um it's it's an amazing campaign i like titanfall one multiplayer more than two but that's another story and of course you know they uh you know also um respawn made the uh the fallen fallen order game which was great and i think ea is trying to even though they made that stupid tweet a few uh, a few weeks ago they are trying to get back into the groove of making uh, single player games that people love. They're trying to work on their reputation, right? Now, when, when people hear about this Black Panther game in development, they automatically jump to the typical names with, with who they would want to develop, a, develop something like this. Insomniac and Sucker Punch. Obviously, Insomniac, uh, made Spider-Man, they're making Spider-Man 2, and they're making Wolverine. So there's a wealth of making a, the wealth of knowledge as far as making a superhero game. Um, Sucker Punch, they made uh, 
they obviously made infamous, you know, the infamous series. So they have experience there. And, um, you know, some some other games you could say might lend to their uh, ability to, to making a to making a superhero game, an open world game, single player and all that stuff. But my thing is like, you can't always think like the typical studio has to be the one, you know, to, to, to make the game, right? So are we just gonna say that like every time a, uh, you know, every time a, a superhero game is in development, oh, Insomniac should make it. Do we really want Insomniac to become the superhero game studio, I certainly don't want that. After they make Spider, after they make Spider-Man Two and Wolverine, even though they're working on multiple projects right now, I don't want them to to make another superhero game. I don't want to put a development studio in a box. I hate when people do that, and like they're supposed to be the go-to for this type of game. Believe it or not, I I understand that you want to go with the safe bet, the safe answer. But making a superhero game is something that can be done by plenty of others who probably haven't done it yet. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm sure there are several other studios who are more than capable of making an amazing, you know, superhero game. Um, we've seen some butcher it, and superhero games, uh, you know, comic book games have been um, me mediocre or very bad for a very long time. but once again, studios with no experience doing it have done it. Obviously, you know, Rocksteady, um, even though Avengers, uh, you know, Rocksteady with Batman, even though Avengers obviously sucked, you know, that was, that was under Square and Crystal, they still also made, uh, you know, um, whatchamacallit, Guardians of the Galaxy, which was really good. You know, that game didn't, I don't think that game still doesn't even get the respect that, that it should, you know, right now. So all I'm saying is like, other studios can do the job. You know, you, you can't just, you know, think that, oh, it has to be the same studio every single time and nobody else is capable. I think, I think you know, historically, it's just been that with superhero games, people kind of just, they never really, I think development stu studios never really put the full effort in and never really took it as serious, right? Now that, <clears throat> for example, with Batman and, and Spider-Man and they see how highly rated these, these games were and how much they sold, um, now they're just taking them way more serious. Like I think before they would, you would get the, you know, some publishers would get the rights to these, get, to these, uh, to these characters and these IPs and they would just throw it to some, you know, who cares, no name, you know, no name studio and act like it's a it's a movie tie in game and act like it's that right now. They're taking it serious and like, yo, this is a big deal, especially in the wake of the MCU and how the MCU is big and even DC is bigger than before. Now they're like, no, we need to give this to the best studio. You know, we need to take this serious because this is a this is a huge gold mine. So. It's like so. That's my point. Like, I don't think like it was just that there what there was this limited amount of studios that could do it. No, it's just they didn't take it as serious before for certain reasons. Um, because you know, even I think uh, somebody brought up Blade, right? A Blade game is not confirmed or anything like that. But somebody on Twitter had brought up Blade, and like, what studio would you want to make a Blade game? And it was this, it was this, once again the same names like Insomniac. I'm like, oh brother, like. Like, I get it. I'm sure they would make a great Blade game, and I'm sure they would make a great Black Panther game, but they're not the only ones. There's several great other names out there who would make a great Blade game that have made games that, you know, with sword gameplay and mechanics at the core, like Team Ninja, even Ninja Theory. And I'm not a fan of Platinum, but hey, they've done great um, action games with sword play. Not saying they should make it, but Platinum is probably even capable, even Platinum is probably capable of doing doing a good one. From Software, because of Sekiro, uh, you know, the, the Capcom devs that, you know, with DMC. So there's plenty, and, and there's several that I'm not even thinking of who would probably be able to make a very good Blade game. So I'm just saying, we can't go with the, with the typical go-to. Sometimes you gotta think outside of the box because, like I said, there's been several games like this and given to a studio that we never really would have 
assumed like, oh yeah, they're gonna make they're gonna be the ones who would be great at making this game, right? And so I'm sure there's other untapped talent out there um in this specific superhero uh game development genre. So that's that's you know all I really wanted to say. I'm not like the you know what the biggest problem about this is? So they're according to some of these reports, right? It's saying that in this game, the previous Black Panther has died, right? And there's been a long, you know, lineage of Black Panther. The Black Panther, you know, mantle. Of course, we know T'Chaka, who is T'Challa's father, and then it goes to T'Challa, and even Shuri has become Black Panther in the comics and all that stuff. But way before them, there's a long line of Black Panthers. I don't even know if, in, if like, the lineage of who was the original Black Panther was even like laid out in the Marvel comics, right? I don't I don't think that was ever even like really described who they were, right, before T'Chaka and T'Challa. Um, but this says the previous Black Panther has died. We don't know what they mean by previous. That could be T'Chaka. So the player must take on the challenge of becoming the new Black Panther. That could be T'Challa. We don't know. Maybe the previous one is before T'Chaka and you play as T'Chaka, right? We we don't know. My my what makes me worry about this is some site, depending on what site you go to, they they describe it as you're going to be role playing as the Black Panther, but it's not gonna be T'Challa, T'Chaka. It's not gonna be like an actual, like one of the Black Panthers. It's going to be you, the player, as in me, playing as role playing as the Black Panther, which to me is an ass idea. I do not want that. I want to I want a character driven story. So I want to play as that character and have the story designed around them, not me pretending to be the Black Panther because that's what some sites kind of reported as and that worries me. You know, I don't want to play as the generic, you know, create a character Black Panther. I would hate that and I I see no reason why they would want to do that. That was that would just create this generic experience in, in in my opinion. So I hope that's not what they're actually doing. And I hope those reports who are describing it in that way are wrong. Um so that's the only thing that worries me. But as far as like it being under EA and the new studio, I'm 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 be real with y'all. I'll wait and see. I'm not like super worried about that. You know, especially, you know, with the um with the leads, lead developers being from Monolith, you know, I'm just not this this doom and gloom, fire, uh, doom and gloom, fire and brimstone. Uh, when it comes to EA, once again, they're not not my top publisher. N nobody, you know, aside from Respawn, um, in there, you know, they they don't have any devs that I'm like, oh yeah, those are the them guys are it, you know. No, but I'm I'm not. I'm just kind of middle, you know. I take the middle route when it comes to them. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I see conversations. Definitely, definitely wasn't able to make this a short video. I see conversations about uh, from Xbox guys now arising, I guess, in the wake of this Black Panther news. They're, the conversation and the rhetoric about Xbox needing a exclusive superhero game has arisen again. So that might be the conversation this this week. You know, there's always a certain conversation that arises each week. This This might be it. Um, which to them, I say, good luck. Listen, I don't, I'm not against Xbox having their own, um, exclusive, you know, superhero game. I'm not against that. I, listen, I, I hope y'all get it. And I hope it's a, I hope it's a good character. I don't think Xbox and Microsoft necessarily have a lot of leverage, but, uh, besides money, money is always, you know, money is always leverage. But aside from that, I, I don't know if they have a lot of leverage um, outside of, uh, you know, dumping a whole bunch of money on your front door. Um, but listen, I, I hope they get one, and I hope it's a good character. Um, but, but once again, do I think they need one? No, not necessarily. I think it's, I think them, I think fans demanding one is kind of like FOMO. I think it's more of a, like a checklist thing almost than actually needing one, right? Like every, oh, everybody, you know, everybody, well, not even everybody, but PlayStation has a, you know, a superhero character and um, the rest of them are mostly multi-plats. 
Um, but that's because, you know, Sony and PlayStation is, are in a unique position because of the relationship between Sony and, you know, the actual Spider-Man license and IP, with, you know, on the big screen and everything like that. So that they're in a unique position. That's the only reason why Spider-Man is necessarily, you know, exclusive to PlayStation and everything like that. Um, and even that's going to PC. Uh, so, listen, I don't think y'all need one. I think that's more for checklists to say y'all have one. Um, it's more about FOMO. But, yes, listen, I, I, I hope y'all get everything that your heart wishes. All right. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, hit the like button, hit the, uh, hit the membership button, become a, you know, member, support the channel, uh, follow me on Twitter. If you're not support the Patreon, join the, um, discord, all that good stuff. Link in the description. Let me know what y'all think about this. Catch y'all on the next video. Peace.